In today's video, I'm going to give you a Bluehost email tutorial for complete beginners. This is going to teach you exactly how to set up the Bluehost email and everything you need to know. Now before I get into the video, I just want to say if you want to get 75% off your Bluehost hosting and a free domain, click the link at the top of the description because you'll be able to get both of those on that link. So let's get right into the video. So now that we've actually gone ahead and used the code that I showed you, you should have purchased your plan and you should have also got yourself a free domain with that. So it should be around, I think, £20 for a whole year, which is pretty good. So we should end up in this sort of place here. And this is basically our Bluehost dashboard. And from here, we're going to be able to set up our emails. So it has an at our domain email rather than an at Gmail one. It looks a lot more professional. It's really good. So from here, we want to go over to the left hand side and we want to click on where it says hosting. Now, once we've done that, we want to scroll all the way down and there should be a section here that says C panel email. So we want to click on C panel email. Then we want to click on email accounts and then we want to click on continue. And it should bring up a new page. So at this point, what we want to do is we want to go over to the right hand side and click the create button here. And then it's going to ask us the domain name we want to have up here. Now, your domain name that you've already got on your Bluehost should show up here. If it doesn't, you can click this button that says missing a domain. But that's, that's where you want to actually go ahead and select your domain. Now, the next bit here would be the username section. And this is the username and then the at domain that we're going to be sorting out. So here we want to type in the username. So it could be something like hello. It could be info. It could be help. It really depends what you do. I'm just going to put help here for now. Now over here we can enter a password. This is the password used to log in. And I'm just going to click generate here. And this is just going to generate some random password. Which will be a strong one. And I'd recommend doing this if you want it to be secure. Now there's actually an extra settings button here. And if you want to you can change the amount of storage you have. So you can have a, you know 100 megabytes. You can set a certain amount. Or you can just put this one here. Now they've also got this automatically create folders for plus addressing. You can just keep this here. And then send a welcome email with instructions to set up mail client. Do that so that will give you the instructions on how to actually go ahead setting it up. So we can go ahead and click create here. Okay, so after a few minutes, our email will be set up. And what we can go and do is we can go ahead over to here and we go on to check email. So this is going to go ahead and open up a new webmail thing. And from here, we'll be able to actually check the emails that are associated to this account. So we can go ahead and we can actually configure this here if we want to. If you want to set it up with a specific phone, you can do that. So what you would do is you'd put your phone in here and then you'd also put the email you want the invite to be sent to. So you'd put your email in there and you'll be able to set it up on your phone. But we're just going to click the open button here just for now so that we can go ahead and actually access the email on here. So now you can see it's opened up here and boom, we are inside of our email. This is a very, very simple email as you can see. It's nothing like uh, Gmail, but it is going to be a you know, sent to our custom email. Now to make sure it's all working well, we should send a test email. So we want to go to the top, click on compose. And then from here, we just want to send an email. You can put the address in here, subject here. Um, you can put the text in here. Hello. And then you can actually go ahead and send it. Now it's a lot more basic than um, a lot of other things, as I said, but just go ahead up here, click the send button, and then you should see if it works or not. Now, anytime we want to go ahead and actually access our email account, now we can go over to our Bluehost, go over to hosting, and then we can just go down to the cPanel email, just like we did, go to email accounts, continue. And then our email should be in here. You can see it's right here. And we'll be able to just access it the same way that we just have by clicking check mail and going for all again. Now we can also go ahead here and we can manage it. So if we want to change password, if we want to do anything like that, we can go ahead and do that. And lastly, what we can do is we can connect a device. So as I said, we can connect our phone, all of that kind of stuff. We can even um, connect it to a different application just so it's a better UI. But this is basically the most basics of how to set it up. So that's how you do it. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe. And also comment down below the video helped you out. And if you want to get a 75% off discount on your Bluehost hosting, then click the link in the description and click that and you'll get it. Thank you for watching.